Evolution, which um, I'm fairly enjoying. This game is good. I enjoy it. Now, yesterday, of course, it wasn't, uh, people didn't show up. I'm not expecting people to show up today either. Um, the reason for that being that it's just, it's, <laughs> it's a horrible time. Like I have, um, I have like a, a, a clock thing on my phone, which shows like the time it's in different regions in the world. Like right now it's like 5 a.m. in Los Angeles. It's 8 a.m. in New York on a Friday, of course. So people have to go to work and school. It's um, 1 p.m. in London. Um, the only people that might actually be um, available to watch this, we're talking Dubai, Bangkok, like Tokyo. And if you're up late, Australia. How you doing, mate? If you're here from Australia, I would very much appreciate it. Now, yesterday we started off uh, with a stream. I will upload these in video forms to my YouTube channel, my gaming channel. The link is down below, should be. Uh, or if you see this on YouTube, hi, uh, the link to my Twitch is down below, whenever you want to do it and whatever you want to see. But yesterday we started off with um, this sandbox park. I already created this like little um, circle with the power outages here so we have a, a place to start from. I mean, it's not a perfect circle. I do recognize that. Don't be annoying, please. I don't I don't watch that. I don't want that for myself. It's not an actual proper circle. It's horrid actually. So we don't we just don't do the top eye view. Everything will be forgotten and everything will be okay. Um, we created this like hotel area, which I think is pretty nice actually. You know, got some space for people to stay here, the hotels, which ups our capacity, of course. I think my sensitivity in the mouse is a bit fucked. Right. Uh, we created this space. We got some fast food stuff over here. And we created our first pens, cages, enclosures, whatever you want to call them. Now, I want to get another... Where is it? Where are the bigger... There you go. Another Diplodocus in there, because I think that just works uh, for this park. So we'll get another one in there. And we have all of the space in the world to work with still. If you look at our map, this is all that we have. Um, I kept playing for a bit. Obviously, I went back now to the save that I saved for us in this uh, playthrough. But there's plenty of space here for us to play around with. Um, we can get like a cage like right there, an enclosure. We can get another enclosure like here, a bigger one if you wanted to. Even though this is already like this is already big enough. I have some really, really big ones on some of my other islands. Um, I haven't actually unlocked a lot of the dinosaurs either. Uh, I've been playing for 40 hours and a lot of that has been trying to unlock them. I've got a decent amount of them, but as you can see, there's still a bunch, especially this one right here, the big guys, um, which is like the Indominus Rex is part of it as well. Uh, like some of these really cool dinosaurs. We've got these two, which apparently are very cool, the, the, the whatever this guy is called. You can only unlock those by um, doing other stuff on the islands. And it's actually been proven to be really tough. Uh, where's the research center? We could take a look if we wanted to. There you go. So the research center, you can research these fossils over here. Uh, so for like this one, this really big guy, which I really want to, I really want to have this one. Um, you, we will need the Isla Sorna science mission. To do that first, we need to Isla Pena science mission, which happens to be very tough because it's a very small island. And the science mission there is basically to create like four species of dinosaurs with like 85% genome and then like a four of these, two of these and you know, one each of the other ones. And it's actually pretty tough. It's actually pretty tough to do that. Now there's the Allosaurus, which we will get when we complete the science stuff on Isla Sorna, which again, we're gonna do uh, for this guy anyway, but to do that, we need to do Isla Pena. And so I'm working on that. I've been trying to do it this morning. I will try to do it um, soon again. This is the same Isla Pena, it's the same thing. So we can get these two and this big guy if we do Isla Sorna and Isla Pena. Isla Pena, as you see, we're pretty close. Um, this guy right here is Isla Muerta, which I haven't done an awful lot on. I mean, I'm, I'm done, but this is the um, security path, uh, which is Muerta. I think this is Muerta. No, it's not Muerta. Is this Muerta? Because this is Muerta. You would think, I'm, I should be pretty close there. We should be able to get that. It's Pena, that's the tough one. Um, so yeah, if you want to do that, we can try to do that as well. If people are actually watching and want to see that, that's all up to you. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. So, today we're just going to continue. <laughs> we're just going to continue. One thing that I want to do, though, is check the power source. Um, this, see, we have only five unused power, so it might be a good idea to actually get another power station, like, tucked in away at the back here, which will, like, cover in a bunch of trees. It works with the terrain constraints. My God, the terrain at times in this game is horrid. Um, 
but then we'll do that we'll get a bit more power in a bit more security because if we if we build like another big pen oh that's actually not let's do it like this that's better then shit will start to go down and, and we'll get power outages and all that stuff and that's not just i can't be our i can't be ours to deal with that shit. so i want another ranger station over here as well because the coverage of this park is going to be tough if we don't like we have a ranger station all the way over there i should have thought about this a bit better i should have put it there instead so it's a bit close to the park um, so these are all right for the ranger station, but especially if we want to go in there. Um, I would like to have another ranger station over here. And since we have unlimited cash anyway, we'll mine. So we'll start with this small power station, which we still can't build properly. But my god, people. This sh really shouldn't be this hard, you would imagine. It's a terrain. Okay, wait. Yeah, okay, wait. That works for me. Perfect. Um, we'll just connect it up. As such, so it connects to the grid, which is perfect. And then we'll go to operations and we'll get a ranger station like right next to that. I think that should be doable. I just had it. I just had it. Where is it gone? Will do. That'll do. It's fine for me. Um, so we'll get a path. Actually, we're not going to get this path. I don't think we need it. We'll get rid of that path. And... Or actually, no, I mean since we already have this thing i might as well just get like a path go around in here and if it's possible can we get it can we get a path in between is it too small i figured it would be too small so i'm gonna have to go around it which i don't really want to do if i'm being honest because it looks a bit weird like that and then we'll just go around this we'll just do that go around here connect back up right so these are a bit weird I have to admit, but it is what it is. I want to try to cover these in trees, because otherwise it's going to look bad, like horrible. I want to cover all these. Like, I, I always try to cover these in trees as much as I can, so just get a bunch of trees there and there. Just cover it up so that no one ever sees <laughs> what's, what goes on in here. Can we cover this up? Not really. Okay, so what we might do instead is, just like we did over there, with the little river pond thing, whatever, we'll do the same, like, idea, like, in here. We'll just get, like, a little little pond like surrounding that just just uh, basically cap it off be like yeah this is it's it's it, just visually of course it's a very visual thing oh that did not quite go to plan right so we have terrain constraints here so we're going to deal with that uh, and just get some trees like right there on this on this line right there to cover it up you know fill this up right there in the corner oh got a disease great how lovely. Just do something like this. There you go. Perfect. Covers it up nice and smooth. And I'll just make a path like, oh, it goes right straight past that. That should look good by me. There you go. Just surrounding it. Yep. I like it. Covers it up nice and smooth. Now, which dinosaur has it? It's a Diplodocus. We have a brand new one of those, by the way, which I should release. Never wrong to release a new dinosaur. They look so freaking cool. I really fucking love them. The music is what's all so well done. And I like how you, when you do that, the music just appears to come out of the speakers, like, next to there. It just such a... I know it's such a bullshit effect, but I love it. So now with this new ranger station, I might as well put them on the case of doing that. That's why we got them there in the first place. And just fill these up as well. Since we have unlimited money, got to alter the ranger stations. And do the upgrades for the improved output. 3.0. There you go. Now, that should all be connected. That's all fine. We all we all did this in a very nice way. I like the way this looks. What are you doing? Oh, of course, the entrance is right there. Makes sense. Never mind. Right, uh, we have a little bit of space here. I might actually keep that space so we can maybe build some stores and some stuff that the, the people can actually use. And then we'll just continue our path like right down there. And then we'll, we'll start making like an enclosure in between there as we, of course, would do as was planned. And just continue this. I'm not sure if we're going to actually use it this way. We'll have to see. For now, though, we got rid of that. Now this, and I'm not sure how I'm going to fill this all in. Mm, this space right here, I'm thinking this we're going to use for the maybe the hammond creation lab or something when we'll do that over here um we need a little space for that over here we've got some space some small space for a bit of store area which i think we're going to definitely use 
There's no power though, but I think we can connect this nice and smooth without it being too bad. Now I want to try to, as you can see, you have like a drink and fun rating. So I want to try to get all of the ratings here that, as best as I can. So for the shopping one, we're going to need the clothes shop. We don't have a lot of space here though. That is kind of the big issue. I mean, it is what you want to call an issue, of course. But the disease outbreak has been controlled. So we want to need to get the smaller ones if we can. No, the smaller ones if we can. Um, there's one that has a bit of everything. This The fossil zone has a bit of everything. So I might just get that in right there. I think that works. Get some trees back over here. Obviously, we're going to have to power this up if we can. And then, um, with a bit of everything, the fossil zone. So, uh, the, the least of them is drink. Now, this one has a way better drinking rating. So, if we can get this one in as well, that will be phenomenal. And we can. It should be able to fit in. I just had it. It was just right there. You saw that too, right? Yep. Oh, there it is. Awesome. So... Okay, what we want to try and do, or what I would want to try and do is, can we get like a tree in the midst of it? No, we can't. Okay, that's fine. Then we'll just get the path in. Oh, nope, the path. There you go. And just connect the path if we can. There you go. That's fine. We'll do it like that. Now, obviously, we need to power it up, which shouldn't be an issue. Just get a large substation at the back here. You're, I think that's a bit much, isn't it? Especially because it doesn't really work for the terrain. So it's just going to be a smaller substation. Right there. And we'll just drag the cable across there, connect it up. No worries. Easy as you like. So that's covered now. And then this is going to be an enclosure. I'm still thinking about exactly how I want to fit fill this in. One thing that we might have to look at first is because we haven't unlocked all of the dinosaurs yet. Um, what dinosaurs we want to place. We already have the Metricanthosaurus. And we have a combination of the Diplodox and the Brachiosaurus, which are all very well-rated dinosaurs. So we're going into the region of very well-rated dinosaurs, which means Spinosaurus with this rating has to be up there. Um, this guy's a decent rating, even though I don't like them personally, they're not that special to me, but who knows. Um, Stratosaurus, you would think has to be in there. Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Spinosaurus now, though, are priorities looking at their ratings. Um, the Velociraptor is actually awkwardly low-rated. I expected a lot more. And other than that, really, when it comes to ratings, the Gigantosaurus. Oh, actually, the, I think we made that one instead of this one, right? I think this one is still something that we have to create, if I'm not wrong. Uh, now I forgot. No, we did that. We have to Gigantosaurus, whatever saw is still left. So we might make him an enclosure right there. Uh, starting off with the Hammond Creation Lab, of course, right there, which can fit in quite nicely, actually. I think this would work pretty well. Uh, I want to get it like in like that. And then we can just play around with this area over here a little bit. But we'll do that in a bit. For now, let's focus on the fences. I want the heavy steel fences connecting up like that. And not that much. And then curling back down like this, going with the road. So, um, this doesn't need to be too big. I'm just kind of figuring out, looking at how exactly I would want this to be. We'll just... I think I'm going to start at the other side. I think that might make a little bit more sense for now. Actually, what we want to do definitely is because there's a couple shops in here. I think it would make sense to get a gyro station for this thing um, exactly like there, which would work because of the terrain. It doesn't really, but there you go. It works now. Um, and I try to connect that up. Maybe this doesn't quite connect properly because of the placement of the fence and I have to look I mean it does no it does that does work that does work that's fine right so we keep, we keep on going over here then um, obviously in these corners th these are perfect placements for these towers definitely so I'm just gonna keep on doing that and actually might take a look at how I want to build this exactly so we can keep doing that maybe over here we'll do the same even though we should be able to place this in you would imagine so i saw an opportunity for it to fit somewhere in here but it doesn't seem to do it anymore oh that's a bit of a bummer is there blue in between there somewhere is that oh i'm pretty sure that was somewhere in between that Nah. okay doesn't really work fine so it is what it is we're going to keep building on that uh this is 
like located pretty nicely now right next to it we're gonna connect it up later for now we've got this one tower going which works and then we'll connect it up to the fence and just keep on going again it's not going to be too big of an enclosure i don't think that's necessary because it's quite a small dinosaur i think this is should be fine we can connect the path like up like there and then we can have like a split like in there making two enclosures here i think that will work pretty well so i think that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna go over here and basically connect this up as well we can okay it doesn't need to be this big it really doesn't this guy is pretty small this is probably already a waste of space like as we as we speak okay let's see how this turns out if we delete this then we've got it looks a bit odd at times but i think this is okay we could actually get something bigger in here looking at the size of this i actually overdid done, I've, I've overdone it a little bit if i'm being honest it might be a bit big i'm thinking about ways to maybe get this a little bit different or get this a little bit better to fit this in more properly i don't know it is what it is for now i just see maybe we'll plant a, a bigger dinosaur in there and then we'll do something else in there we need to figure this out a little bit so what i want to try and do i don't know if it maybe it's too small but maybe get like a little pond there and no no doesn't work okay that's fine little pond there and i got like trees surrounding that just you know aesthetics that's what they call this all aesthetics to make the park look a little bit nicer to me that's important to me it is but look this is a quite big enclosure and like it's just it's approximately the same size as this guy right here who is absolutely fine with this amount of enclosure like this is just as big as the brachiosaurus thing so we're almost obliged to have a bigger dinosaur in here which i feel right now which we definitely can so i'm thinking maybe tyrannosaurus rex maybe uh, spinosaurus if you have any suggestions anyone who's in the chat then let me know maybe we can work on it then uh i'll get this path connected up here right next to it so we can make the split with the other enclosure that's going to be next to this. Because we want to make use of the space as best we can. Kind of want to go inside here a little bit. And then go with the curvage. Looks a little bit nicer. Right. And actually keep some space in here. So we can connect another tower up in here. I'm sorry I'm being so specific about all these things. But I just really enjoy the, you know, building the aesthetics of this park. I think that's one of the most fun things you actually can do in this game. Apart from, of course, the big roaring dinosaurs, which, uh, you know, are not bad, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so, we'll connect this up. It doesn't need to be that much of a curve. There you go, that does for me. Oh, something is an important text. Uh, sorry, I'm working with other people here, so maybe... Okay. No, not that important. I thought maybe something needed. I'm in a different house here. This is not my studio. My house. That's why I said things sound differently as well. I thought maybe it was something that I need to, you know, make sure. There's, I've got other obligations now, so I'm sorry. I might be distracted at times. I've got other stuff to do. Okay, this connects up quite nicely. Got the viewing tower here. Maybe we can create another one here. Maybe I think that's actually just because this is a very long empty slot, and people don't like just the the. the, the but almost needless empty spaces so i think a viewing gallery i mean these are a bit like i don't know especially now that i have the towers i don't use these anymore i like the towers are way more efficient they look better in my personal opinions so i'm like nah let's just keep it at the towers for now i'm gonna have to power this up though I'm not looking forward to that whatsoever because that's going to be horrendous because honestly i hate the powering up it's the power lines are my one big <laughs> criticism of this game. They are horrible. They look so bad. Like, I've, tr I've tried to cover them up like in the trees and stuff and at the back there, but we're going to have to go inside the center of this park if we want to, you know, get all of this connected. So there is no choice there. We're going to have to do this, and it's going to have to look hideous. I'm very much afraid. If you're uh, in the chat, by the way, or, in, or watching, uh, if you want to leave a message, feel free to do so. Uh, welcome. I hope you're watching and if you're watching later when i upload this at some point uh, still very much welcome thank you oh i haven't been attention paid attention that's not good some of our feeders are empty don't want my dinosaurs to die or become mad at me of course that would be bad uh and i'm gonna get you one of them at least to do this guy might as well do that one and since we have the spare one here you can do that one just in case unlimited money no one cares it's fine 
Right. I think this is okay. I think this is what we want to do here. And then we can have like a little... I mean, it's not that little. These are still going to be big enclosures. And then I still have plenty of space. Okay, this space is a... I criticize the space of the sandbox. And to be honest, I could still do with the bigger one. Especially if at some point I unlock like four or five more species that I really want to use. This is not going to be enough space for me because I make bigger enclosures to, you know, add to the realism and such. But I have to say, some of this, like, there's enough spacing to make a bunch of... If I just went this size for all of them i would be fine that would be no issues however i don't like to do that because i'm a bit specific about that so i think when it comes to the space oh, first of course we need to power this stuff up which is going to be h horrible i'm i'm already hating this because I i'm gonna have to get these power lines in places that i really didn't want them to be okay, i'm gonna try to place this one right here so that we can connect up the hammond creation lab and that power tower over there so we don't have to go inside here too much which means that we can just cheat our way into that area and then it's just going to fade away a little bit. It's still going to be there, unfortunately, but we're going to work with that. So this one is going to be powered. And then I think, I feel this one is going to be tougher, but over here we can cheat a little bit with maybe even a smaller substation. We can, uh, actually this one is already powered. So we're going to have to place a substation. Can we do that? No, we can't. At the corner right there, that's not going to reach it. So we're going to have to go for a larger one, I feel. Uh, which is quite a bummer because I didn't want to. Or we could place a smaller one like right next to it and then try to connect that. Is that possible? Can we make that work? I can't place it in the corner. That won't connect. So I'm going to have to do it right there, I feel, which is a bummer because I didn't want to really. I mean, this space right here, you reckon it's obstructed. You would hope this would work. Okay, maybe I'm going to redo the fence a little bit. Or at least I'm going to try to. I want the small substation to be placed right there. And then try to get this away as gracefully, as one might say, as I can. I'm going to have to lead it all the way over here, though. But that's a, a bit of a bummer. It's, it's ruins the. I mean, it's not bad. Like it's just like it comes into the path over here. I don't want it to go into the path. I don't like that personally. It doesn't look good. I wish there were cables. We can just go underground and work with that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, these are not connected. First, of course, we need to fix this fence again. If I even can, I think I should be able to go around this. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And of course, um, I need a gate. Might come in handy. Uh, we have a ranger station right there, which has to go around here though. So a gate like right here might be a decent option so we'll just do that if you're watching welcome hi nice to have you here hope you're enjoying jurassic world uh, i'm always i'm always trying so hard to not say park I'm, I'm a little bit older i grew up with the, the jurassic park movies i love them still do so I'm, I'm trying really hard to not say jurassic park all the time because it's not jurassic park it's jurassic world i'm not sure if they're actually trying to create a new franchise with that i haven't seen the newest film because i mean the first one while it wasn't bad it's not like i could really be arsed to watch another one of that. I was like, it was fine like it was. I enjoyed it, it was for what it was, but it's like, I really didn't need to see another one. They made another one, and fair enough for those of you who enjoyed it, of course. Can make a little pun in the middle. But to me personally, it's like, it was rather, I was like, it, it's fine like this. Can we just give it a rest? Can we just let it go? Like, I personally was very ready to let it go. Apparently, people didn't agree with me. It's all the way fine, by the way. <laughs> you can like whatever you want to like. Uh, I got a little bit of forest area in here, actually. I think that would work rather well. Especially for the live bait feeder, which I always try to hide away a little bit. Actually, we do in real life. You know, as we do with um, our slaughterhouses, if we're being honest. You know? You don't want to see these creatures be killed. So, we make sure you don't see it. Then you can eat them. For me personally, again, as a vegan, it's... Uh, we're, not, we're not talking about... I'm not here trying to convince you of becoming vegan. Even though I would uh, appreciate it, but that's not the point of this video. It was live stream. I'm so used to videos. I'm not a streamer, in case you haven't noticed. I usually always make videos, which I still have to do as well today, by the way. It's going to be a busy day. Ooh, that's not good. I mean, to be fair, in the morbid society that we live in, people might actually enjoy that. <laughs> just seeing the goat come out and just watching it being hunted. Oh, boy, what have we done to ourselves? Humanity, man. <laughs> Humanity. Right, I like the gyrosphere. These are really nice additions. I like that we can actually use these. Just going to get them along the edges here. When I first got them, I was kind of reckless with them. And I just placed them wherever I could. Like now, I'm a little bit more uh, careful, I would say. I try to place them where they're not 
out of place for the dinosaur too much. They're just like, going in a little circle. Like over here as well, they're going in a little circle around the area. I mean, obviously going to be in the way, but not as bad because I used to just flip flop them all over the place. Be like, yeah, this is fine. Which it really wasn't. Um, right, so we have decisions to make. We have quite a big pen. So I am thinking big dinosaurs, which makes sense. Now, if I had more of a, a viewing at this time, I would let you guys decide. However, I don't, so I'm going to do it myself. I'm just going to look at the height then. The Ceratosaurus is 3 meters and 10 meters in length. The Tyrannosaurus Rex is 14 meters in length. 5 meters. This is a, it's slightly bigger. The Spinosaurus is a bit smaller. So I'd say... Actually, I don't. I think they're quite same each. Area. Let's look at the rating then to get a rating boost. We've got 325, 314. All right, so we'll save the best for last. We'll get a T-Rex in this one. A T-Rex for this enclosure right there, which hopefully is going to be very popular. You would imagine so. That's probably the biggest attraction people would come to see when you go to a dinosaur park. I imagine a T-Rex is going to be first on your list, or at least so you would think. I like the look out of this park so far. I think it looks fairly decent. What time is it actually? We need to watch the time. All right, we're good for now. Got our big herbivores here just chilling them out. I mean, that, that would be a ride I would, you know, if we had dinosaur parks and it was normal because I personally would not be for it because, you know, it's not a good idea. But this was a ride I would be going into. Even though this guy can probably just still stomp this thing without any issues. They have to fucking... You know, if we accidentally like knock, like this guy is, he's fucked. Like he's being, he's being tossed around. He's stuck underneath. My God, this is not, do we need like a ranger team to come and help out here? This is not, oh boy. <laughs> okay, I think he's, just imagine this thing taking a shit all over that ball. That'll be something. <laughs> oh Jesus. Uh, this guy wants more forest area. I think they want a bit more forest, even though they have plenty, you would think. These guys are fine. Again, this is really tough because usually they're like, oh yeah, I want more forest area. But then as soon as they actually walk into a forest area, they are usually fine. It's just that this guy seems a bit stuck. He seems really stuck. Oh boy, did I... <laughs> I mean, as much as it's funny, it's kind of sad. Can it still walk? Or is it like legitimately stuck? Am I gonna have to delete this fence? Is that a cry for help? I don't speak dinosaur. I think it might be. Oh, it's socializing. So that's why it's probably standing still. I like the socializing thing. It's making friends. Yes, he can still walk. Okay, so walk into a forest. Let your tail. It's a bit wonky, that, isn't it? The tail thing. I think they tried to make it realistic, but it's. Yeah. These guys have very small tails, by the way. You would reckon, you know, if it was something that they needed to get them, like, they keep their balance. It's a bit small. But who am I to judge? This T-Rex is going to get a nice area right here. I might actually have a look. People are very happy with the shopping, apart from here, because there's not a lot of shopping to be done. Uh, when it comes to the visibility, 90%. That's very good. Very nice. Um, this is weather. We don't have storms or anything. I've set up a storm thing, but I think we turn it off in the sandbox because I just want to relax. Drinks. The drink rating is actually not that. So there are some places that really miss out on the drinking stuff, which is quite a shame. Um, this usually helps with the drink. I, I think it doesn't fit here. It won't fit here. If it does, then great. I don't think it will, though. It will. Hey, I'll take that. Get a little fast food restaurant in there. Up the ratings a little bit. Um, looking at that, I might actually look at shelter because sh you know the shelter um, access helps with your rating as well. Now, we've got pretty good coverage of this entire area. Like, if you're walking over here, you're a bit fucked. But again, I might set up a little shelter at this corner right here. If it fits, which I doubt it does. I mean, it does over there. It might ruin my pond a little bit, though. It's not that bad. We'll just, we'll just take it. We'll take it for what it is. And we want this exactly... 
Okay, that doesn't quite work. Maybe if we start from here. Exactly. No. Exactly. It doesn't work, guys. It's like I want this to perfection. Okay, that does it. <laughs> Works for me. Uh, and then we can get back on trees. Tree duty, as one might call it. Over here. Get a little tree there. Great. Works for me. Right. The tire Is it done yet? Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close to this. Um, We might get a smaller enclosure. Try to get a smaller. Or maybe get a couple of like, herbivores all panned together in here. That could be a thing. That we will get leave the spinosaur and the velociraptor and some other th stuff over there so we'll make another big one over here which is purely for all of the herbivores i think we can do that i think so again i'm not so sure how well some of them go together we're going to give them quite a big space though so it's going to be like a sanctuary for herbivores which i think is pretty nice i think we can make that work so we'll just get a hammond creation lab set up right there um, and then we'll connect the path, which will come from from in here. And basically just go past this in like a curl and connect up to there. Then connect this one up. And then we'll just get a, a thing going for it. It's going to be like an, a sanctuary for herbivores. I imagine that's a good idea. I hope it is. I don't... I Again, I'm still like kind of puzzling at times which ones kind of go together and which ones don't because it, it differs at times so that's something to figure out i suppose right we're just gonna do this it's gonna be a lot of empty room over here though which is quite a shame now these corners of course we know what i do with the corners or if you don't towers viewing platforms i call them towers because they look like towers to me they're not viewing platforms um, but whatever, the game is probably right, and I'm not. That makes sense. Um, maybe we will set up one over there. It's a bit weird, but I think it will do. We, we know that it's powered there, so that's that's going to be fine. Uh, this, this is a different... No, I'm, I'm in all the wrong spaces here. Um, and then we get some, some over here. Get one that covers this area. Even though we're going to have to power that. And that is something that I'm not looking forward to. Because I think that will that will get ugly. So we'll try to, I'll, I'll try to ignore this area. It's going to look a little bit empty over here. We have some coverage over here though. So I could... Get, oh, apparently not. No, no, What? I thought it... Okay, this is where the coverage ends. Unfortunately. For that substation. This is all we have. This is all we can do. So we can place one in here. Might as well. Might as well do that. We'll connect this one up. To there. And this tower will get a connection. To. There. Get some get some trees. In the middle here. You know. Dress it up. A bit. A little. Maybe we'll get like a, a drink area. Or a bit of a store. Or whatever going on over there. Um. And of course, we also need the gyro station, which I think will fit in just like right there. That works pretty well. We'll get the stuff going later. Now we can actually finish this enclosure fence. Connect it up. Oh, that's a bit much, guys. Right. And we'll just draw this like all the way through here. It's going to be a big herbivore enclosure. Like a, again, like a sanctuary, like I've said. I think that will work pretty nicely. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't know what to do with such a large space. Because I like to make like, the big enclosures. I think they look better. They look healthier for your dinosaurs. Again, I don't like to violate rules of like animal health and shit. How is that one powered? That one powered, but that one isn't. That is a bit of bollocks to me, if I'm being honest. What? Gotta be joking, right? What? Oh, come on. What is that? That is horrendous. Okay, so maybe I can sneak in. The sneaky one. Will that... I'm not sure. Oh, hold on. Doorbell.
so great. <laughs> Again, living in the city, it's great and all. But the doorbell goes a lot more often than uh, it would do when I was back home. Which is fine, though. It's fine by me. Sorry about... Oh, sorry about that. God, I have to go up, like, th three sets of stairs as well. <laughs> great. <laughs> it worked, though. So it's good. Um, so we need a substation. And we need to place this in a way that it doesn't look horrible. Or we have to place one of these in here if we can fit that somehow. Which we can. Let's see what it looks like. You know what? It will do. I'm fine with that. Connect that up. It's going to be covered as best we can anyway. I'm going to try to get like another bit of tree going in here. No one will ever... I mean, they will see it. But for now, it's okay. I'll dig it. Something is connected up with the... Oh, of course, you haven't finished this. All right, this guy is ready. Let's release... The Tyrannosaurus Rex, and I, I love the sound that these make in this game. It's really, really accurate. Love it. It's really good. Here it comes. Fuck me, man. It's so cool and so loud. Yep, a fucking Tyrannosaurus Vex. How about that? Instantly going for the food. Or is he going for... The no, he's going for the goat. He's instantly going for the poor, poor goat. My God, it's so sad. Rip Billy. You will be missed, mate. Fuck me, as a vegan, not a nice thing to look at. Um, there's a gyro station. I reckon it's going to be pretty popular, even though it says zero guests right now. I'm going to up the pricing to ten... Even though money doesn't make any difference in the game mode because it's sandbox and everything is free. It's a bit weird that. Don't know why I did that. Right, so this one. Um, I can upgrade. I can get more capacity. Which I think we need because I want to get like all sorts of herbivores in here. So we've got four hatching bays now, which is fine. So we're just going to start off with a nice family of... Um, Struthiomimus. Struthiomimus. That's exactly how you pronounce it. Look at me. That was actually good. Um, modify genome. Let's see what we can do with these. The thing is, I've, I've already played around with most of them. The viability is still fine. I like the... I think I like the arid pattern a bit more on, more on these. We're just going to get three or four of these. Just get like a little family going to start. And then we're going to get like a family of Stegosaurus in there. Maybe some Myasaur, even though you need a load of those. We're just going to get four. I think four is fine. They're all going to die at the same time now, though. That's a bit sad. <laughs> it is what it is. And we're going to make like a nice enclosure. Oh, already one of them failed. That's that's a shame. So this is all quite uneven. But looking at the space that we have, you are almost obliged to make this area into like the Oasis River, whatever you want to call this, in the middle. And um, some of these creatures are going to like forest. Some of these are not going to want a lot of forest. So we'll just get like a forest area like behind here at the back. Like kind of, you know, surrounding this. This this little lake here. Going to get like a foresty area. Get some more open spaces like at the back here. Going to get some more like trees and forest. Maybe get some over here. And then the rest of it is going to be more open. Try to connect it. It looks a bit odd to me like this. And maybe... Uh, Maybe a, a little, little little sprite, little bunch, like there. It's okay. We've got, we've got a bit of trees. A couple of trees. A little bit. Like, just a little bit there. I feel like this is not enough open space. I feel like this is too much trees. The thing is, I kind of don't like when you underdress it. It's like, just, I don't like these, like, open planes that much myself. But it's like, some of the dinosaurs really do enjoy it. All in all, though... Um, even if I just look from from a park stand point of view, I'm gonna need this space in here to get the gyros going because that's a route for those. Can I delete this? Can I not? Why can I not delete this fucking tree? This tree just won't go. There you go. Jesus, took you a while, mate. So instantly, one of these guys. Well, only one of them didn't make it. The rest of them did. Let's have a look. 
Oh no, I don't like that pattern at all. That's terrible. I should have gone for the other one. I should have tried one and then the oh, that's fine. It is what it is, and I can make one of them with the I, I just release both of these without the little I don't need that. Right. And then I'll get one, which is gonna be the leader of the pack, I guess. With the savannah pattern. It's fine. Incubate his ass. Um, did we make a gate? I don't think we've created a gate in this, which might actually come in handy, of course. I know it will. Uh, so we'll place the gate right there. Uh, we, they'll need feeders. Loads of them. So wherever there's like places to look, we're just going to place a bunch. Like in the middle here. Subtract it, because probably because of the dinosaur. Fine, so we get a couple there. We've got a couple of lookout places over here, so we'll get one here. We'll get another one there, and then maybe one like hidden here, and another one there. So there's going to be plenty of dinosaurs in here, but we'll get maybe some hidden feeders, like one like there, maybe another one like there. We're going to need loads of them. Oh, he's ready to release. What does this look like? I mean, I like that a little bit better. Sounds of these things, man. It's ridiculous. But there you go. We've got some Suthiomimus in here. That was a T Rex, without his shadow of a doubt. Already got a three and a half star nearly park. That's mental. Who's texting you now? Oh. Nothing specifically at this point in time. So we have a couple Suthiomimus in here uh, who are socializing. Are they fine with popular? They're fine with everything. I love There's going to be a gray one in there now, which is kind of funny. Uh, we're going to have to be here all the time, though, when it comes to actually trying to keep all of these things filled. Because they're all going to be empty in a bit, like very soon. Um, I feel like my webcam is a bit cropped, isn't it? Maybe I should actually, maybe I should actually edit that a little bit. Should be able to do that. Uh, it's a bit weird. Should up the image a little bit so I still have my little box at the back here. <laughs> uh, it doesn't quite fit, but we'll make it work. Ah, it's good enough. It's good enough. Cool. Thank you for your cooperation, everyone. Um, think that's better. I hope that's better. I'm trying at the very least, just so you know. So we've got a couple of Suthio Mimas in there. I actually might um, finish this route before I do anything. Actually, first incubate. Uh, what do I want? A couple of Edmontosaurus? I think like two or three of those in there as well. Wouldn't do any harm. I'm going to go for three. Again, these are not like high rated dinosaurs whatsoever. They are just fillers in a big herbivore enclosure, which I think is kind of nice. I, di I dig the idea. All right, so these guys are going to go like al among the edges and going to go into the forest. It's like a fucking theme park ride, isn't it? Just... It's, it's it's like crafted to perfection. We're going in between here, trying to not disturb the food too much. Going past the river. Going past here. Amongst the edges, not in, be in the way too much. And doesn't it, it does, Okay, it connected. It's fine. It works. Good. I like that. Looks good. Is this going to be any popular? I'm not sure if it's going to be popular. It's definitely going to be popular for now. I'm going to up the staff. God, I don't know why it's so... Maybe I should make it more expensive. That will stop people from coming in here by the dozens. Okay, I think I'm going to have to go three staff on this. 800. Don't know why, because these are the lowest rated things in the entire park. But for some reason, people are like, huh, maybe that's exactly why I want to see it. It's like, oh, that's not dangerous. That's... that's enjoy I like that. That's not, let's go there, mom. <laughs> we might not actually get killed. Because no one is going to fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex. Which is a bit of a lie, because I can definitely see some of the bottles moving. Actually, now that I say it, yeah, see, there is, there's someone in there. Don't lie to me, game. Why are you doing that? Wait, you filled again? Ah. Huh. It seems like hatching bay 2 is just a bit of an unlucky thing. Let's release the ones that we have, as it is. They really are cute. I like how they can stand on the little like behinders, but they have these like 
flat feet in the front. And the little, well, they're not very little, but like the beaks. Look how they run. I think it's so cool how they actually run on the behinds. All right, let's release the other one as well. And then hopefully they can all mingle in together. I think that should be fine, especially with most of the herbivores. I think it's Ankylosaurus that is not very good with too many of the other species, but I think the rest of it is fine. They can just all wander, wander about. There's so much space in this pen. We can at least get another species in here without any problems. This one is releasing. Okay, so next up. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going, I know. Um, Mutaburosaurus? Definitely a herbivore. A ground herbivore. Medium size in Australia. Australia. Down under. That's not how you pronounce it. I know that. Um, I like these. I've never actually created these. Let's see what we can do with them. Tiger. Let's go for Tiger. Let's try that out. Again, the rating isn't great, but we don't need the rating. We can we can up the rating a little bit potentially. Like maybe try to get it rating to fifty. That would be good. If we could do that, I'd be happy. If we can get a 50 rating. The viability is going down with that though. So let's try not to do that too much. I'll just get two or three of these. Because you always see these running around in the in the films and in that sort of stuff as well. Okay, I'll release the other Montosaurus. And then I'll get another one of that. Even though I mean I'll just I should check before I create the third one if they actually won that many. There's gonna be loads in this fucking enclosure. Jesus. Can this guy move on so I can place another one in here? It seems to be obstructed. Why is it obstructed? For what reasons? Well, there you go. Got another one here. I might actually hide one like in there as well. There's loads of feeders around, so they never... Oh, sorry about that. Someone's playing Rainbow Six Siege. Ha! Huh. Or did it actually not show up on stream? I think I turned it off. So the Steam stuff doesn't actually show up on the stream. Look at me. Actually pretending like I know how to stream. Which I don't. In all honesty, this is my my third time ever on Twitch in my life. Okay, so we're creating the Parasaurop. My God, who invented some of those names? Like, g genuinely, Parasaurop, Parasaurolophus, Parasaurolophus, Parasaurolophus. You need to you need to find the rolling of the tongue, literally, to get it to work. These guys seem fine socially and everything. They've got everything they ever want. It's great. Are they like socializing? Yeah, it's so cute. They're socializing. Why can't we be friends? <laughs> or something like that. I don't know what they talk about generally. Got all of these fucking Stuthiomimuses just chilling about. They, they got the little, they got the little oasis here. They can drink from. They can chill underwater like he is doing right now, just roaming, having fun. Got all the space in the world. This seems to be a very popular attraction. It's still. My wait it. It really must be the safety then. It must be like, yeah, no, these creatures won't actually, or well, the chances of them doing it is a lot less. Kill us. This is great, mom. Let's do it again. It's like that idea. It must be. I actually need to get a shelter in here just to get the rating up for that just a little bit. Can we fit one in there? We could fit one in here right at the corner. It will kind of ruin my trees here though, which I'm not all too happy about. So I might actually redo that. Yep. I'm like that. Again, I got all the money in the world in this game mode. I don't care. I can do whatever the flip I want here. Even though this isn't quite... Okay, we can do that. That's fine. You can just you can just stay here. This should be connected. And then now, I can do the tree stuff again. Oh, this is removing them. That's not what I want. Okay, that did not quite come back the way I wanted to. I wanted a bit more here now. I can, I can say that I'm quite disappointed at that. Right, and then they're probably going to want all sorts of other stuff. Is that the, oh, these are nearly done. Let's watch these first. I've never made this before in this game. Hey, these look cool. I've always liked them. In every, like, film you saw these as, you know, just running out in, like, in, in groups, in packs. Some of the creatures that evolution created, yeah, they definitely need more friends. So, yeah, don't worry about it. There's more on their way. I'll incubate a couple more, maybe two more. It seems like they want a big herd, so let's give them a big herd. And then hopefully most of them are going to stay comfortable. All of them seem to be comfortable. 
for now. Apart from this guy, of course, because he wants more friends. He, they definitely need like four or five in this enclosure, I think, for them to be actually happy. I've got one of them here, so try to socialize with that. That might help at least a little bit. Then we do the rest. Um, let's have a look at management views when it comes to drink and food and shopping. They both don't have enough of it in this area, so we might try to get all of that in combined. Food and drink are very much combined in the fast food restaurant, which you can place. I mean, can we combine it, though? I don't think we have the space for that in this area right here. I wish we kind of did. Because that would have been nice. Just be able to like, get a fast food place right next to here, which we can. And then have enough space to connect another thing over here. Which I think we don't. I want something where we can shop and fun. Doesn't seem to fit. No. It just doesn't fit. That's such a bummer because I would love to have... Okay, then we're going to have to go for something that um, does as much as most of the things that we can. Um, this does drink. No food, but it does fun and shopping. Um, this does everything but shopping. And this is very good for food and for drink. But I don't think there's any that does all of them. Which would also, of course, not make sense. There's a little bit of fun here. And mostly food and drink. So I think this is the one that we still have to go with. Because I think it makes the most sense. Maybe if I create one like sideways over here, maybe that will allow us to keep some of the space to use for some of my other projects. I don't think it will fit. I don't think we can any fit anything else in here. Like the arcade is it's probably a bit too big, even though you would say and think that this could fit. This should not theoretically or physically be impossible. It is to this game though, so... Yeah, that's uh, that's all we're gonna get from that, of course. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna get a bunch of trees in in there, and then that will do. It doesn't. It's not powered over here either. Why is it not powered? Ah, yeah, of course, makes total sense. Now that this is not properly covered up anyway. I might as well just play around with it and get like a huge, or it doesn't have to be huge. In fact, we can just place a smaller one like next to the entrance, like so. I don't know, I think, I guess we can just play around with that. Again, no, it doesn't look that great, but it is what it is. Right, these are ready for release. And I think we'll definitely need some more for them to be actually happy. Because they don't seem to be comfortable with the amount of dinosaurs in here. So look, their comfortability is actually going down. They're not social enough, so we need more. We're getting a decent group of dinosaurs in here, though. I like it. Maybe get two or three stegosaurs in there, and that's that should be it then? Question mark? So are these guys more comfortable now? You better? Do you still need more? I think there's one coming out still, right? Yeah, there's one coming out. That should be enough. There's going to be a huge amount of dinosaurs in here. My god, I love it. It's really nice. Loads of feeders, so that shouldn't be a problem. Is it better now? The social stuff? Do they need even more? Oh, no, I think they're... I mean, I'm going to get one more in there because it's, it is a bit close. It's a, it's a, it's a lot. It's too close for my personal taste. Um, I mean, I kind of... These ones are always cool, but I think these would be creatures that... Because of, you know, the, the, the weapon that they have on top of them. They would probably start fighting a bit earlier. Um, I still have the Corthosaurus or whatever. Feed needs to be supply. I have the Dracorex, which is a herbivore. Uh, we could make one or two of these and then just stop it at that. And the Draco Rex is, is where we're going to end it then. Should be plenty of things to watch in this uh, in this environment. Incubation failed. Which one? Oh, the, exactly the one that we kind of wanted to get in there. So we'll redo that one. Incubate. We already have empty feeders. But it's not there, of course. That would make sense. So we're going add to add a task. We're going to fill... We might as well just fill these all. Get these guys to fill um, that one and that one. Now that it's empty as well. And then get this one to feed that and that. Even though we could probably set one of the other guys on there, but that's fine. Um, right, and then we might repeat our little trick to, you know, basically, I, 
it's nice to have like all of these things next to each other, but it's to get a little separation. You need to use the, la the landscaping, otherwise it, it doesn't quite work in my personal opinion. But that's, that's again, that's purely personal taste. So I'm going to get like this, this pond thing that we've got going on for a while now. I'm going to do that again right over there with the trees that we ha had already. This, 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 uh, this actually works really well. I've actually only tried this in this like right here. The previous park that I made didn't have this either. But this works really well in, in some separation of all of it, even though this one isn't quite as quite as straight. This one isn't as great. Could probably do a little bit better here with this pond. I right, make it just a little little smaller like that. That's probably probably a little bit better. And then we can we can get the path. Uh, we can actually might delete this part of the path and redo it. And it's gonna have to come from in this corner. Uh, oh, I can barely see out of this. And then we're gonna have to make it turn. Yeah, that, uh, that's probably fine. Like this. Around it. There you go. That's fine. Does it? We can delete some of them that are like are a bit too close, and then connect it back up like this. That's probably okay. We might actually remove some of these trees at the front row. Oh my god, it's ridiculous how... Th thank you. Will this... Thank yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah, there you go. We might delete some of those. That one there, right? And redo that part. Like, a, Okay, that instantly went wrong, unfortunately. But it's fine. We'll keep it as it is. And we'll release whatever is in here now, which is the Draco Rex. Hopefully this works together with other dinosaurs. I'm not actually sure. I haven't had these one s in with others before. I really like that these are herbivores. They have they have the looks of anything but a herbivore, if we're being honest. Yeah, so they're not social, so they need more. So I might get three of these then. I'll release this guy, which we've already done. Then I'll release this. I'll make one more Draco Rex, and then we're done. That's all. Uh, I'm going to end the stream there as well. So we're going to get one more Drake Rex in there. Might look for a little... Now we have the space in this like corner here. I might fill up what we kind of missed with you know this space that I wanted to do there. Which is, of course, uh, some fun and some shopping. So we can probably combine those. The toy shop do that does us a little bit. Uh, but I think it's better to get multiple ones. So get the arcade in do that get the arcade in there and then get the uh the best for the shopping which wh what is the best for shopping let's have a look is it yeah the clothing shop you would imagine so that is the place to go when you're in a dinosaur theme park there you go we'll connect that up like such we'll connect that up like such the rest we're covering trees we have to power it up though, which is not the best, but it's what it is. So we'll just do like this. We're covering these like spaces, this area right there. And then we'll have to power it. Uh, just a little substation. Uh, probably just at the side here. Where we have power lines, we have a power line there. If we place one right here, that sh should question mark power them or just one like you can just place one right there and get the cable to just come across. That's probably fine. It's not the best, but it will do. Right. We'll release the Draco Rex, the last one. Right. Let's see how all of these guys are doing. Looking at comfortability, this way is the Draco Rexes are getting better now because obviously there's still some need for others. But they all seem comfortable. They don't, they don't seem uncomfortable with each other's presence. This guy is instantly coming to greet his new brother or sister or whatever. Oh no, this guy doesn't like the population in here. The Draco Rex are a bit overwhelmed, it seems, by the armed population. That might be an issue. Will they stay as such, though? Because that's going to get their comfort levels. I mean, he's just gone down a little bit. Is he happier because he's more social? Is it like, do they need more Draco Rex? So that the amount of other population isn't too big? Is that what I mean? Or like, what can I do to fix this? That's what I'm kind of looking at here. 
Because these guys are all fine. It's just it's it's just the Draco Rex that seems to be a bit uncomfortable with the population. So I'm gonna have to delete those. Maybe I'm gonna have to delete those. All right, let's go to this center and um, let's do that then. We'll get rid of the Draco Rex. I don't think they work in here. The population is too grand for them, so. Dra the Draco Rex goes down. Uh, there's so many dinosaurs in here now. There's another Draco Rex. We'll just get those down. Because I don't think they work. Maybe we can get like another Stegosaurus. And even though it's probably fine. It's full enough as it is. It's a pretty f packed enclosure. So there you go. We've created this like little area. And now we have a, a chance to create another enclosure right there with... Potentially a Spinosaurus? I think a Spinosaur w will work pretty well. We're going to go around this with a path as well, actually. Just uh, take it a little bit more so we have a bit more space for the trees. So we can work with that. And then we're going to go around here. And we're just going to do the same as we've done with previous ones as such. Just work around that. Um, it doesn't really doesn't have to be this big. But this entire space, I think I want to get the Velociraptors in like a cage like right here. So it like ends over here. So I think it's a g would be good to get this path doing this. So we can use that space for the Velociraptors. And then we can uh, connect this up. And there you go. We have a path that goes through the entire park now, which is great. Uh, we're going to use this again. Fill it up some more. So we can really close this off, this corner. So this is not something just to look back on. I like this like little, you know, idea that we have right now. So we're going to have to get rid of the other. Where's the helicopter? Come back here. You're not done yet. Now get back. No, 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 no. You weren't done. Another Draco Rex needs shooting. I'm very, I, I feel for this m little, little, little fucker. These are all panicking, which is not the greatest. Um, the ACU center, the transport teams. It's for the best guys. These guys would have fucked up this entire place. Right? Sell the Draco Rex. Sell the other Draco Rex. Here's one more that we're going to sell. And then we're going to leave it at that. Because I think that's fine. Like, you guys were not happy here. I, I, I'm, I'm fortunate here because I think you're pretty cool. And I want to keep you here. Maybe I can actually do the Draco Rex instead of the Truthio Miners. But they are a lot less severe when it comes to what they can endure. They love their big populations, actually. So just get the... Oh, that was a hit. And we've got it. So now we can get that one as well. And then this is all fine. The comfort levels of the rest of the dinosaurs are... Pr they're, they're great. So we can just work with that. Coverage, we've almost got four, three and a half stars going towards four, which is great. And overall, the, uh, the outlay of this park is fucking love. Uh, this is the best park I've made. By far. It's really nice. Asset has been collected. It's really good. So yeah. Um, I think that's where we're going to leave this stream. Uh, it's another short stream. I don't know if people actually watched it. I saw some viewers in here at some point. So thank you for those of you who did join in for. Even if it was just a little bit. Um, I'm hoping to stream more and more. In the future. Streaming I hope it make, can become like a more of a. Regular thing for me. Um, and I hope you'll enjoy that as well. Uh, this power station is doing fine. Unused power zero. Zero nine. We're gonna need another power station though, so we're gonna have to work on that in this area right here, probably. Uh, which okay, we'll do that first. We'll get a power station going, because that does seem like something that needs to happen right now. So we're gonna put it right there. At least I'm gonna try. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if it works. Like yeah, okay. This is what I kind of want to. So I want to I want to cover up like the power. Um, stations with trees because I don't want anyone to come anywhere near these. A, it's dangerous. B, they are they're ugly. So I don't want them to, you know, my pe the people that come in this park to actually have to see that stuff. You wouldn't want them to. And then just connect up this path as such, and that will do. And we'll connect the path behind that, and that's where we're gonna make our Spinosaurus enclosure. Which um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually. Very looking forward to, to creating that. There you go. Let's get behind this. Great. That'll do. Fill the rest up with trees as well. Nice. So, now that we've got that done, uh, we've got more power source. We need to connect that up, so we just have to go uh, get a power line 
um, which we'll do just so we have everything connected. Pylon. Let's go. But we'll go in there, so it's in the trees and hidden, and we'll do that. We'll give it all of the upgrades that we want it to have, which is the improved output ones. So this should ha give us enough power to power the rest of the park that we're going to be making. This park is really nice. It looks really, really good. We've got everything in here now that we want to. We're on three and a half stars or something. We're going to get the Spinosaurus in next time. I'm not sure when the next time will be. Um, again, these streams don't seem to be very popular at this moment. So I'm not sure how in what capacity I will continue. I hope you guys will catch on to it at some point. I know that I have some followers on Twitch from a long, long time ago. So I hope you all um, see this at some point and join in as well. I'll try to promote it a little bit more on YouTube as well. Uh, on my channel and maybe i'll str you know at some point we can get a nice little community going here and live stream a bit more often because live streaming is something that i personally see the future in of uh, when it comes to content creation live streaming is definitely something that um works very well and i would love to do a bit more of so yeah hopefully we can get something going for now thank you ever so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did um again on twitch i'm not sure what to say i always say make sure to like and subscribe but that's not a thing here so uh, subscribing is though so yeah make sure to at least follow me on twitch um subscribe if you want to leave a donation it's always very much appreciated and then hopefully i will see you soon bye bye